I just dropped the pasta and I'm just going to cook it according to the package directions. I did salt the water, heavily salt the water. I just wanted to show you this part. Okay, and here is the chicken. I just flipped it over so that I could cook. You know, we want it pretty well done because we're going to shred this. So I'm going to put this back in the oven and we'll be back. All right, guys, it is time to assemble everything. The chicken is out of the oven. All I did was just shred it up into little bits like this. I have my casserole dish that I buttered real nicely. And what we are going to do first is we're going to mix all our ingredients that's going to go into the casserole. Okay, we have our heavy cream, our sour cream, Okay, our cream cheese, this is one pack of cream cheese, our Parmesan cheese, and our mozzarella, seems like a lot of stuff, and the jar of the Alfredo sauce, this is our cheap item, I'm going to shake it up, pour it in, I'm going to add a little bit of water to the jar, I'm going to give it a shake, pour it in. Okay, now we're going to give this a good mix, make sure everything is mixed up nicely. I preheated it to 375. This is going to go in for about 30 minutes or so. Everything's already cooked, so really you're just warming everything through. Okay, so now we're going to take our noodles and place them in the pan, in the casserole dish. And I did cook these al dente, okay, because they will finish cooking in the oven. So don't cook them all the way through. Okay, now and you're going to sprinkle your chicken all the way through. Mix it all up. This makes a lot. You can even divide this into two if you want. If you have a small family and put one in the freezer, it freezes real nice. And just mix it up like this so that the chicken... We'll mix up with the noodles. Okay, and then in our cheese, we're gonna add a little bit of salt. Not too much because the cheese is a little salty and lots of cracked pepper. Okay, now we're just gonna mix it up into our noodles. Pour it in. Mix it up just a little bit. Just go in with your tongs and move it around and it'll mix up. Nice and creamy. Okay, now we're just going to sprinkle a little bit of parsley flakes. I didn't have any fresh, so we're just going to sprinkle some of these dried parsley flakes, which is okay. Just for a little bit of color. And I am going to also sprinkle some red pepper flakes. If you have kids, want to keep it kid friendly, just don't put them in. And that's it. This is ready to go into the oven for about 35 minutes. And I will be back to show you the finished product. Okay, everybody, the casserole is out. It's very hot still. I am not going to dig into it yet. I'm going to give it some time to cool off. And I forgot to mention, before you put the casserole in the oven, do not cover it with foil because your sour cream and your heavy cream can curdle, so you don't want that. So just leave it uncovered for the 40 minutes. And that's all it took, so I'll cut into it in just a few minutes. All right, let's go ahead and cut into this and get us a portion. This is pretty big, so this, this feeds quite a bit of people. Let's see if I can pick this up without messing it all up. Look at that. Mm -hmm. So creamy. Look at that. Yummy. Looks so delicious. Okay, let's go ahead and give this a taste. Okay, guys. I am ready for some of this. Let's see what this is like. Mmm. 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 This is so creamy. So creamy. You get a piece of chicken with that. The fettuccine is perfect. So make sure you don't overcook that fettuccine before. And I made some of these little uh, breadsticks to go with it with some garlic butter on top. Delicious. This is so creamy, guys. I really think you're going to enjoy it. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm -hmm. Delicious. 
Okay guys, that's going to conclude the video for today. I sure hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed making it for you. And don't forget, if you did, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. I will have the recipe and all the items that I use, like always, in the description box below. And if you have any questions about the recipe, drop me a comment and I will get back with you. Okay, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.